Today, one of the incredible moments straight from Ukraine's frontline conflict zone, a Russian soldier has described the difficulty of dealing with drones on the battlefield in a video plea for people to send guns to thwart the unmanned aerial devices UAVs, launched by Ukrainian forces. Drones have been a key part of the war started by Russian President Vladimir Putin, and video from drone units on both sides in the conflict have shown how the small cheap devices can destroy expensive artillery pieces and tanks. However, a 42-second clip posted on X, formerly Twitter, by the pro-Ukrainian account War Translated shows an unnamed Russian soldier saying that he and his comrades did not have the basic weapons to fend off the drones, which are dubbed, birds. Please help us with pump shotguns and things will work out, I'll explain how to get it here, said the out-of-breath soldier in an undisclosed location, surrounded by trees. These birds, these FPV, first-person view, drones were sick of them, the soldier added, and War Translated often shares videos of disgruntled Russian soldiers in Ukraine. Both small and cheap to assemble, the FPV drone has been one of the most potent weapons in this war, controlled by pilots on the ground, the devices, whose components cost only a few hundred dollars, often crash into targets, laden with explosives. They can be launched from improvised platforms several miles from the front line and can have a range from 3 to 13 miles, or even more. Ukraine's digital minister Mikhailo Fedorov said in February that the country will make thousands of long-range drones capable of deep strikes into Russia this year, and there are 10 companies making UAVs that can reach Moscow and St. Petersburg. They're simply burning us, the Russian soldier said in the 42-second video, adding that one shotgun saves 10 lives, if not more. Understand that we have enough spirit to fight, but when the tiny $500 scum burns you from above and tears you apart, then it becomes increasingly difficult. Russian forces have momentum on the battlefield following their seizure of Avdivka in the Donetsk region in February, but this has come at a huge cost in personnel. Kyiv's latest figures outline daily losses of more than 1,000 on five consecutive days. Amid the high losses and reports of low morale among Moscow's troops, another video posted by War translated this week showed another unnamed Russian soldier warning would-be recruits not to join the war for the high salary on offer. Your heroism will disappear once you enter combat for the first time, he said. On the same day, aerial drone footage shared by military analysts on Wednesday appears to show dozens of Russian soldiers being targeted with US-supplied long-range Army Tactical Missile Systems, or ATACMS, at a training ground in Ukraine's eastern Luhansk region. The clip also was shared on X, formerly Twitter, by a volunteer with GEO confirmed, an OSINT account that geolocates visual content from the Russia-Ukraine war. Ukrainian ATACMS strike, with four ATACMS, including one dud, hitting a Russian training area in Moznyakivka, Luhansk Oblast. Based on the footage, the losses will be significant, 80 kilometers behind the front line, Geo confirmed said, sharing stills showing the impact of the first strike, and the US recently secretly sent Ukraine long-range ATACMS capable of hitting targets as far away as 300 kilometers, 186 miles. The video was also shared by Russian military analyst Ian Matveyev, who estimated potential casualties to be in the dozens, and Russian officers again took the soldiers out for training, to stand in a crowd next to the trucks. But they forgot that in addition to the cluster HIMARS, the Ukrainian armed forces now also have cluster ATACMS, which fly even further, wrote Matveyev. The result was a strike by three missiles, the number of deaths is unknown, but most likely the total losses are measured in dozens. Everything happened in the vicinity of the village of Rohov, Luhansk region, 100 kilometers from Kupiansk, which is controlled by the Ukrainian armed forces, he added.
pro-Ukrainian user Tendar said a Russian training camp and staging ground was struck by ATACMS, the first burst of cluster ammunition hit where the large Russian troop concentration was positioned. The third strike hit an area with several vehicles hidden in tree lines, the X account said. In February, Ukraine was reported to have targeted large groups of Russian servicemen with US-supplied high-mobility artillery rocket system, HIMARS, in three separate attacks. In one of the attacks, Ukrainian OSINT project Deep State reported that Kyiv attacked a training ground located near the village of Podo Kalinivka in occupied Kherson. The BBC Russian service, citing a source in the Ukrainian special services, reported that the attack took place in the same location. While Ukrainian publication Zerkalo Nadeli reported that at least 60 Russian troops were killed in the Kherson attack. <laughs> Meanwhile, Russian forces continue to suffer high casualty figures in their invasion of Ukraine. In its latest update on Wednesday, Ukraine's defense ministry said that over the previous 24 hours, Russia had lost 1,120 personnel, making it the fifth successive day that casualty numbers had surpassed 1,000. On Tuesday, Russia suffered 1,250 losses, 1,320 on Monday, and 1096 and 1,124 the previous two days, taking the tally over the last five days to 5,910. The total for the last week hit 7,980, for a daily average of 1,140. In March, there were more than 1,000 losses in a day on nine occasions, 13 times in February, and only four times in January, and the latest tally by Kyiv puts total Russian losses over the 797 days of the war at 469,840, for a daily mean of 560. The Ukrainian Defense Ministry describes the figures as approximate, and they include both killed and injured. While Russia has not updated its casualty figures since September 2022 when Defense Minister Sergei Shaigu said just under 6,000 had been killed, an accurate estimate of the number of personnel lost in Vladimir Putin's full-scale invasion is difficult to ascertain.